Ramadan. They make West Indies bowlers look like second raters. When those fellows came out here to bat. Welcome back to the Now Morning Show. Exciting news, Sports Watch is back. And today, Kent has for us a feature on a very special up-and-coming young cricketer. She is a young and talented upcoming cricketer who just happened to be part of the recent West Indies Under-19s women's team. Today, we introduce you to Katie Jazz Mitchell. A young woman with the ambition to make it to the top of the women's game in cricket. But every journey to the top has its origins. And for Katie Jazz, her journey began at a very young age. Well, I was five years old um, and we had just moved into the neighborhood. And um, our neighbor at the time, he, um, he, he had like the sport as well. He, he was a sports guy and um, he built a bat. That was my first bat, a wooden bat. And um, on evenings, he would like when I come home from school, he would come over and he would teach me the basic shots. And he, he that, at that point, I learned of the sock, where he would put the um, UN ball in the sock and tie it on a rope. And he would just have me doing the drills. But um, so I, I, I used to challenge him and be like, you know, um, well, why, you know, bowl me from a distance and let me try. And, and from that, I, I picked up the love for it. For every accomplishment in the sport, she gives thanks. I'm grateful for it. I'm, um, I have. Along the, along the way, shock myself a bit, um, but I'm very grateful because from where I started to now, it, it, it has shown a lot of growth and a lot of development and still there's a lot to come, but I've had a lot of people to, to help and support me along the way. It's one thing to represent your national team, but to be called up for the West Indies Under-19 team for a World Cup was a whole different feeling for Katie Jazz. It was amazing. I mean... At first, when my mom, she, she uh, had training, and then I came home and she was like, I have some good news. And she told me, um, I was, she got a call and I was shortlisted for the first ever women's best news and writing team. And to be honest, um, I didn't think I'd, I would have gotten the call, but um, I did. And I was, I was on cloud nine. I was so happy because I was just like, oh my goodness, I'm actually, I'm, I'm getting to be a part of this. And... It, it, was, it was such an amazing experience to be able to go and to say, well, I, I played in, in the first ever women's T20 under 19 World Cup and part of this Western East team, it was amazing, really amazing. While Katie Jazz has moved to her own beat, charting a course for herself, her mother Delana has been a key factor. My mom, she has been there from day one. She was always outside um, watching, cheering me on. And when I actually started the um, training, you know, she would, the, the days that she, you know, she would get up early and wake me up early and be like, hey, come on, it's time for training. And, and at first, you know, the early days used to bother me a bit. It, it doesn't know. It, it, my body, it, it's tuned to it, but she has been there walking with me, picking me up, dropping me off, picking me up early from school to be able to reach the train on time. It, she has been there from since day one. And then when my sister came along, she was there as well, cheering me on for the games, you know, whenever I bowl, go Katie. So it, it, it's amazing to see them, they're always there. Now we have introduced you to Katie Jazz Mitchell, but to us here at TTT, the name Katie Jazz Mitchell has a different meaning. Her lead father, Kevin Ward, was once our sports editor and along with her mother, Delana, have been her biggest influences. Katie Jazz, whose name is a combination of her mother and father's initials, knows he's looking now smiling at what she has become. I, I think he'd be really proud. I really do, because he, you know, we'd always say, because he was part of, you know, the, 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 um, the crew company, he would, he would always, like, come to cover my games and stuff. And we always say, well, you know, he'd always be there with a camera, call his guys and be like, hey, my daughter's playing, come on. So I, I think he'd be proud. But what are some of the fondest memories in the sport? My first wicket in international with the West Indies. Uh, my first play of the match. Um, being able, the first time I wore those maroon colours. I mean, everybody in the Caribbean know how an honour it is to wear those colours. It, it's amazing. While the journey to becoming an international cricketer is in its infancy, Kiri Jazz has big dreams. Just to, to be able to, to play cricket to once there's any kind of leagues, I just want to be able to play cricket, to be a part of it, just to, to be involved. Because, you know, from young to growing up now, it, you, you grow to love the sport so much that it becomes a habit. 
and you, you just grow to be to be a part of it. And wants to use her experience to influence others. I just hope that you know they're, they're encouraged because these before this World Cup and before the upcoming um, Women's um, Premier League, there wasn't much for, for women, for girls in cricket. You would just see one or two training with the boys, training with their brothers. But I hope it, this, this sets this, the tone for, for women, for girls looking on to be able to say, I hope to be there one day and training and, and finally getting their dreams realized when they get the call up for their, for their teams. So I hope, I hope this, 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 this pushes the, you know, the, the, the women in cricket. I hope it gives them more of a spotlight. Katie Jazz is now training with the senior women's national cricket team and it's another accomplishment she is proud of. In everything at once, again, I'm, I'm grateful. Um, you know, to be able to say I'm, I'm training with the national under 19 and the senior women team, it is an honor, really, because I, I get to train alongside some amazing girls with amazing talent, and you get to learn from them as well. You know, you, 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 when you think that you know you, you've you've heard and, and seen it all at one place, you come here and these girls are like, wow, they amaze you with everything they do. Meanwhile, her mother Delana is beaming with joy about what her daughter has accomplished. Oh, sometimes I try to. Um, pinch myself to see if it is real because uh, the way it, is, it has been happening is like wow. So I am very grateful. I thank God I'm very, very proud because I know where we started. We didn't plan it. I know even the area that we live in is, is known as the home of cricket, Presal. So I know God sent us here for a reason. But I am so proud and I'm so happy. I'm so grateful to God because I know that Katie Jazz deserves it. She has done a lot of hard work over the years. And so now, I mean, it doesn't stop here. It's not like, it, it's not like if, you know, she has reached, but, you know, it's a major milestone. And um, the experience has been very, very good for me. She admits the journey has not been an easy one. It's a lot, it's a lot, you know, being a single parent. I mean, at the time, I didn't have my younger daughter, but having a, 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 another child, you know, and um, compounded, you know, with another child, having to move, you know, having to get to training sessions, going to school to get her, to, because um, she would have to get a training for a certain time. So we would try to cover all of that. It has been very challenging. Katie Jazz, the cricketer with her father Kevin watching one from above, a mother Delana's motivation, took time to praise those who have been influential in her journey. My first coach when I joined, um, when I first started cricket as um, Coach Pracky, um, till, to this day, he's still doing coaching. Um, uh, I play for Achievers Women's Cricket Club, um, who is coached by Mr. Winston Trumpet and Coach Derek. Uh, my West Indies coaches are Coach Steve Leibold and Coach Jamal Smith. Um, they have helped me a lot as well. And my, my former coach at the uh, under-19 Trinidad level, um, Coach Gavin Williams, he's been there. He's helped a lot as well. And my now coach, um, Gibran Mohammed. He's our new coach here at the um, women's national level. Um, they have all played a part in me learning new stuff and developing new stuff um, in my all-round game. So, massive thank you to all of them. That was a beautiful and moving piece from Kent there on Sports Watch. And I know all of us here at TTC and everybody is very proud of Katie and the amazing achievements that she has already been able to accomplish and more to come. How did you all feel after that? I think it was good. I think um, I, I think she mentioned her, her father would be proud and that yes. sort of thing. So I think it's, it's a good start to her career and I can imagine what she's going to be in a few years. I, I, I appreciate the fact that she already has the context in terms of, you know, what's been available to women versus what mm -hmm. is available to women yeah. now and she's able to appreciate it and be able to capitalize on it and make the best of it. So I concur that it was a it was a pretty good segment. It was a wonderful Well done, segment. Kentos. It was a beautiful good segment. Good job. Good the job, point? Kentos. <laughs> Wonderful, and we'll be back. This is our morning show. Indeed, Pinky's up, guys. I think look like second raters when those fellows came out here to bat. West Indies try holder and keep voice.